just a little bit. And I want you to be able to see the whole thing. So you fold the bill in half, and then you fold it in half again. Now, some people would say that you're manipulating the bill to make an image that you want to see, but I'm, I'm going to have to contend to you that it makes it even more difficult. You're becoming, uh, you're making an exponential function every time you fold the bill. So there's an image right here that's right above my thumb, and I'm going to turn the page right here, and I'm going to show you that same image. I've taken that image and I've cropped it, and I put that image right here now. And here's an image of a rectangular building. It's got one, two, three rows of windows. Here's an image of smoke. And here's an offset in the building, and here's the rest of the building. Now, if you'll go below, here's an image of the Pentagon. It also is exactly the same. It's a rectangular building. It's got one, two, three rows of square windows. It's got an offset, the same as the image above it. And it's got the smoke, same as above it. And it's got another part of a rectangular building. Okay, that right there, you have two images of bombings in the United States that are printed on this one $20 bill. This one bill was made in 1996. The bombings were made, were done in 2001. So we have one bill and it's got an image of the Twin Towers and it's got an image of the Pentagon on it. Okay, I'm gonna go and take the other US currency now and I'm gonna show you guys Right here, these are our $20 bills. This is the one that we just made into a pyramid. And this is the old $20 bill that was taken out of circulation. This was has been around since I was a child. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you in front of these bills. I've made pyramids out of both of these bills now. Now, Isaiah said, those who try and hide their plans from the Lord are doomed. They carry out their schemes in secret and think no one will see them or know what they're doing. They turn everything upside down. So let's turn them upside down, okay? Once again, here's the Twin Tower bombing on the 20 made in 96. And then on the back side is an image of the Pentagon bombing, which is also shown over here in a larger image. Okay, now let's deal with the old $20 bill. I'm gonna go back into your picture. The, here's, here's the old $20 bill. So here's a pyramid, and let's turn it upside down. Now I'm gonna put that image right here, and I'm gonna move it. It's the same image. This is the federal building bombing in Oklahoma City. You can see the concussion waves coming off the building, off this side of the building, and the explosion coming out the top of the building. Now this is where things get extremely fascinating. I'm going to turn this same bill over on the back side, and there's an image right here. And I'm going to take that same image and put it below here, right here. So Dan's going to back up. Now I want you to watch my finger. Here is the leading edge of the wall. Now follow my finger down, and there's two floors sticking out right here. Now watch this, go to my other finger. Here's the leading edge of the wall, and there's the same exact two floors sticking out, and it follows the wall down. This represents the smoke, and this represents the other part of the building over here. So now on the other $20 bill, you have an also, you have also a very, very close likeness of the federal building bombing after the explosion, and at the point of explosion, you're looking at something that is absolutely impossible. You just saw the Twin Tower bombing and the Pentagon bombing on one bill, and on the other bill, you saw the Federal Building blowing up, and on the back side of the bill, you saw the aftermath of the, of the explosion right here on the old $20 bill. The odds of that happening have to be somewhere in the neighborhood of an exponential function that's basically I would imagine X to about the 10th power thereabouts, whatever X is. I'm not really sure how that variable factor works out, but every time you fold the bill, it has to make it exponentially harder to, to uh, resemble the bombing of one of our buildings. So anyway, we've looked at two bills and you've seen one, two, three, four images of bombings on only the two $20 bills. That's only the $20 bills. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prophesy for you. And the Lord has poured this prophecy into me. And after I prophesy, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna show you what those words mean. And it's just fascinating. So let me just take a moment and pray, Lord. 
I pray that you'll just speak those words through me again so that these people can hear it and understand. And I'm praying that you give everybody that watches this video the eyes to see and the heart to understand and the ears to hear. So thus saith the Lord of hosts, behold, the hand of the oppressor has been lifted against you. And out of the sea shall come fire and smoke and a devouring wind. Water as high as the walls of Jerusalem shall cover the city by the sea. And great shall be the destruction of that city. And behold, the great wall which holds back the abundance of the rivers shall burst forth, bringing the hand of the oppressor against you, for I have seen it. For mighty is your enemy that is risen from within your own borders. Now behold the abomination of desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, standing in the holy place where it should not be. Here is the mystery made known to you. You are the holy place of which I speak. And the abomination of desolation shall rise from within the walls of the temple to destroy the temple. For have you not seen and have you not heard and has it not been made known to you? Have you not read the scriptures? For when the sons of God came into the daughters of men, they did bear children to them. And the same became mighty men. And has not the sea turned mighty? And the sea shall turn terrible before your very eyes. And the terrible one shall be elevated within the sea. And behold, the man of peace shall come forth from the sea, Barack Hussein Obama. And with words of peace, he will bring chaos and destruction. Behold the fig tree. It puts forth its leaves and suddenly the time is upon you. The travail begins and a holy nation is to be born and it will not stop until that nation is brought forth. This is an appeal from God. It's very serious stuff. Um, a time of travail is coming. Um, the Bible talks about, you know, once the birth pains begin, that's it. It's just like a woman going into travail when she, her birth pains begin. It doesn't stop until the child is born. Well, a holy nation is about to be born, and that's what this is all about. And it's an appeal from God to you to turn to Jesus Christ. Now we're going to take a little break. I'm going to collect myself. And then what we're going to do is we're going to present the body of evidence. Okay. I think we're back on. Tell kind me of what? overloading me um, a little bit. Like I said, what you're about to see is just humanly speaking not possible. But everything's possible with God. I'm going to show you the $10 bills. These are the $10 bills. Um, I want you to notice how the bill has changed. This $10 bill has a line around the oval right here. There's no longer a line around that oval. There's also now a new oval right here that's white. The color has been changed to orange. Let me show you something about trees. This is not a natural way for trees to look. And there's a very specific reason that this bill is made like this. And let me show you why. That prophetic utterance that I was just given to you it said, Behold, the hand of the oppressor has been lifted against you. Out of the sea shall come fire and smoke and a devouring wind. I want you to look at this image right now. First of all, I made a pyramid out of the bill. And now Isaiah said, Those who try and hide their plans turn everything upside down. Sorry. And so now I turned the pyramid upside down. Now I'm going to take that same image and put it here. And what you're looking at is a nuclear explosion coming out of the ocean. Time and Newsweek magazine have said, well, I'm sure Newsweek, I've heard Time has, but I'm sure Newsweek has. They came out with a cover story that said there's going to be an offshore nuclear attack on a port city here in the U.S. The terrorists would put a nuclear device in the ocean, they would detonate it, and that would create a massive tidal wave. You're looking at it on the $10 bill. Here's the tidal wave coming over the building right here. Here's a representation of the nuclear blast. And the sky is orange from nuclear radiation. Now, behold, the hand of the oppressor has been lifted against you. Out of the sea shall come fire and smoke and the devouring wind. Water as high as the walls of Jerusalem shall cover the city by the sea, and great shall be the destruction of that city. Now, when I move my hand, I've drawn a line across here so you can see that this part here is the reflection of this building in the water. Now I'm going to show you on the original 10. I drew a line here and I lined it with some blue so you could perceive it. But let me show you. 
there's the real there's the ten dollar bill and as I move my thumb downward you'll see this building's reflection in the water there it is there it is so out of the sea shall come fire and smoke and a devouring